to again revisit the DMAC and wherever there are gaps, we are going to fill up those gaps and uh, we'll also strengthen our understanding by learning some additional tools. So some of you might have uh, know, uh, experienced uh, certain uh, challenges uh, know, in certain areas. That is quite obvious. Uh, but it is simply because of you know, uh, not filling up uh, some of the gaps, not understanding some of the basic principles. So uh, theory plays a very, very crucial role. Many a times, you know, we people make a mistake of disrespecting the theory. Uh, if you practice anything without having a solid uh, foundational knowledge, theoretically, then you, then you know what will happen. Your uh, practice might lead to some dangerous conclusions, some dangerous results. You know? So we will be endangering the scenario unknowingly by disrespecting the uh, basics and the principles. So we will definitely strengthen our understanding in define, measure, analyze, improve, and then control. So before I take you through some additional tools in the defined phase, particularly uh, the time is meant for uh, understanding the Kano analysis and the quality function deployment. So before I speak about both Kano as well as the QFD, and both of them, both the tools are very relevant to product development engineers, right? Product development team. And before I take you through those particular discussion, so I request all of you to, first of all, participate, right? We have been meeting after a week, I believe. So please come on video first. And then uh, if you want to ask anything or if you have any specific uh, requirement which needs to be addressed, you know, uh, today and then tomorrow, uh, please do let me know. And, and then, you know, all of us will uh, strive to fulfill that because ultimately quality is meeting and exceeding your expectations of the customer, right? So that should happen uh, here also. Okay, with me, I could uh, see our uh, co-trainer, uh, Mr. Vivek Kumar. Some of you uh, might not have met, but however, you will be uh, meeting him today and tomorrow uh, for some of the sessions, right? So it's good that he is also accompanying us. Okay, so any questions, uh, participants, feel free. And suggest all of you to be participative, right? And uh, the, then otherwise, you can't simply climb, you know, you are a black belt and you are uh, an expert in Six Sigma, but then hiding away from uh, situations is, uh, you know, will, will indirectly put you down. So be participative. And once you start, then it will, you know, uh, lead to uh, good results. Yes, Vivek, sir. Uh, thank you, Jessica, sir, for such a good uh, now start to today's sessions. Uh, to all the participants, I would like to uh, request you to make the most of this opportunity of interacting with one of the best trainers that India has. Since you are directly interacting with Dr. GSK, whatever query you have, please feel free to ask them. And it will be correctly answered. My point is, that we at Vision Excellence, guided by our uh, mentor, Dr. R.K., who is a guru to all of us, you will be meeting him. So he always says that there is no silly question. By definition, it cannot be. Only possibility is that there can be a silly answer or a wrong answer. And <laughs> that's what I want to make, you know, communicate to all of us is by definition, since there cannot be a wrong question, a silly question, a foolish question, that is just not possible. Right, so all the questions are valid, correct, and appropriate. That's one ground rule that we have for this discussion. And another great point that I would like to add that our traders, especially GSK, RK, you know, Shankaran sir, they will make sure that there are no wrong answers. So in this forum, please note this is such a great opportunity that you will be having no wrong questions, no wrong answers. Uh, to just make things more clear, as we are explaining you the concept, if you are trying to connect them with your day-to-day -day activities, the day-to-day -day improvement initiatives that you are taking, then you will be able to visualize them and be able to implement them in real-life situations. Otherwise, understanding a theoretical concept becomes slightly difficult, but if you are just parallelly connecting them to the real life problems, real life improvement initiatives that you are taking, you will be able to connect. And whenever you think that, okay, you need some more clarification in that particular context, please feel free to ask. If you do not want to ask by speaking, you put your question in the chat box. 
somebody or else will from all of us will take care to uh, see to it that your answer is provided okay so time for the participant to raise your questions so are you clear with everything uh, discussed so far and uh, define measure analyze improve control or uh, particularly define phase because this qfd and the cano fits into the define phase so any questions anybody any question anybody would like to ask or shall, shall we proceed yes sir yes sir better to proceed right okay all right so uh, as i mentioned the cano model as well as the qfd are the tools normally used in uh, the defined phase of course you can uh, use them in other areas as well provided you understand uh, you know the purpose of it so cano model uh, is a tool which can uh, allow you to prioritize your customer requirement it will allow you to systematically prioritize the word systematically is important because we can randomly do all the work ourselves without referring to anything but then if you want to do systematically that means you no know, you want you want the results to be you no know, always as expected so systematically you can prioritize your customer requirement any product if anyone is buying the person who is willing to buy is the customer yes or no is the customer and do you think the customer will have some requirement from the product will have a requirement right and uh, how do we understand the requirement what is the tool we learnt to ensure our product meets the customer requirement can one of you answer this what is the tool we learnt which will help us to you know uh, understand yes our product you know is designed to meet the customer requirement can one of you tell me you and have you are selling you are selling CPCPK a product cpcpk value POC cpcpk POC. value CPCPK value gives you an uh, confirmation on your uh, process capability. Very good. Process capability with respect to the particular uh, outcome from a particular process, right? Just meeting one one but one outcome. Do you think your customer satisfaction is taken care? But of course, indirectly CPCPK. Yes, it's a good judgment. What other tool? Voice to customer to CTQ. CTQ. Very good. I think we all must clap for uh, the answer from Abdul. Right? So, voice of the customer converted to CTQs, not just one CTQ. There can be 100 CTQs. There can be thousands of CTQs. I don't know how many expectations all of you have from this particular Black Belt training program. Right? So, we should be able to list down one, two, three. Suppose if your requirements are 100 and somehow if we are able to meet all 100 requirements, then definitely no, we are doing great in the market. Yes or no? All your requirements are getting fulfilled. So it's very important that we know the CTQs, nothing but the technical requirements while delivering a program. What are the technical requirements? The numbers, isn't it? The technical specifications. Every Any training program will also have a specification. All right? So let's say the number of tools that are discussed as part of the training program. Can it be a specification which can talk about you know, the quality of a training program? Yes or no? So we can always keep things in a vague manner and you know, leave it unattended. And we can always, at the same time, on the other side, we can also try to bring the clarity, express it you know, very specifically with a number right and as and along with the numerical target to it along with the tolerance limit to it if as a part of the black belt program let's say if we uh, make the participants understand around you know let's say 50 plus or minus uh, five tools then we are really doing good can you understand as an as an outcome of the program you are now confident about you know at least 50 tools related to quality and productivity improvement and you know let's say lean and six sigma and uh, the target is clear and then we're also giving some tolerance plus or minus five so bare minimum you must equip your participants on at least you know 25 different tools and if everything goes well you should be able to meet 
55. So the upper limit is known, lower limit is known, target is very clear and that means you have one CTK. Clear all of you? Critical to quality characteristics means there is a specific target and there is an upper limit and there is a lower limit. Likewise, you have to list down all the CTQs. Suppose if there are 100 CTQs, now which one is most important to your customer? There are certain things you know, which are very, very essential. You cannot escape from delivering certain requirements. Say, for example, in the training program, uh, we come up, we, uh, we say that, you know, we will be covering everything and we will make you, you know, understand all the concepts, but then, you know, certificate will not be issued. How many of you, you know, will, uh, will be satisfied with the training program now? Everything goes well. But the certificate component, the feature of certification is not included. How many of you would have joined this program? None of you, isn't it? So there are certain CTQs which are essential. We act as a threshold. It is only after meeting the threshold, people will consider your products. I hope all of you did in that manner only, isn't it? You first looked at the certificate, then comes you know, everything else. So there are bare minimum requirements. We call them as must be requirements. Suppose tomorrow you want to start a restaurant. You want to start a restaurant. Are there certain bare minimum requirements you must uh, fulfill to attract the customers? Well, can you tell me one example of a bare minimum requirement that needs to be fulfilled to attract the customers? Taste and quality. Hygiene. Quality. Hygiene. 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 Atmosphere. Okay. And see, when, when we uh, speak, some most of the time we speak in a vague manner. Like again, you know, I have seen, uh, I mean, you know, using the word quality. So quality is a ocean, isn't it? That is what we are trying to drill down with the help of all these tools. Customer says, I need a quality food, but the meaning behind the quality food, you know, is so many. The food must be, you know, the area must be, you know, you must have the hygienic uh, environment and uh, there has to be provisions for hand wash. Yes or no? If hand wash provision is not provided, how many of you would prefer uh, the same restaurant for the next time? So there are certain things, you know, you can't escape from, you know, delivering. The certain requirements act as the foundation of the building. No compromise. You cannot have excuses. You can't say, sir, I, I, I'm just a startup, so I can't provide, you know, certain things. No. If it is a basic requirement, yes, you must fulfill that. It is like, you know, the foundation of the building. You can't say, sir, I don't have budget, but I want a house for my family. So I will, I'm ready to compromise on the foundation, but then I will focus on, you know, the garden, swimming pool, and all those, you know, amenities. You are absolutely wrong, yes, sir. So you need to understand what are the CTQs that comes under the must-be requirements, threshold requirements. Clear, all of you? The moment you realize a particular requirement is coming under must-be, no compromise, no compromise. You have to be at your best. You have to be at your best, right? And uh, no other uh, comparison. Even if uh, you have to make some additional investment to fulfill that, you have to do it. Let's say you, you are starting a school. Can you start a school without having a proper approval? The approval process itself, you know, is a huge investment. Can you skip that? Now, I want all of you to think in the same direction with respect to your product. The service you offer. Will you be able to list down three characteristics expected by the customer from your product or from your service, which comes under this category? Will you be able to do it? This is must be. Once the so please please note it's not just you know fulfilling one or two or three of the must be features. All the must be features. All the must be. If there are, let's say, there are 25 must-be features expected from a product, then how many of them you must fulfill? 25. All 25. Because if you miss out on any one, you will be very soon kicked out of the market. This happened to many, many companies. They have not understood the basic requirements. Everybody wanted a touchscreen. Yes or no? Nowadays, 
Can you imagine a mobile phone without a touch phone nowadays? The touch phone was a delight initially. But the delight has, you know, has now become must be. If there is a phone, yes, it must have you know the touch screen facility. It should have a camera. Am I right? Nowadays, mobile phone without a camera, we can't imagine. Even if you buy a mobile phone for 800 rupees, that will also have a small camera feature in it. That is simply because of this understanding. Right? So how good or you know, how bad it is, that is that comes next. But there has to be a camera. This custom customer perception is, you know, they want such features. So <clears throat> this is what happened. And uh, even uh, you all know what happened to Nokia, isn't it? They were number one. They thought that, you know, this particular feature of uh, just uh, uh, sliding the screen with uh, the fingers and then all the touch facilities, you know, they thought that, you know, it's uh, they can go with their own uh, OS. However, Android, you know, actually they approached them first. And they denied. And so what happened? They, in fact, collaborated with all others and then the complete market scenario changed. So, so we it, it is very, very important to understand what category of, you know, uh, what category a particular feature belongs to. If it is must be, no compromise. Once you are good with all the must be, that means you started a restaurant. Now all the basic facilities are there. You have got you know, good environment, hand wash area, there is a cashier, and there are certain tables, chairs, and facility to you know, prepare the food, and everything is you know, looking good. Now what will happen? Customers will start exploring your restaurant. Yes or no? People coming that way, slowly, one by one, one by one, they will come inside. This, this will happen only you know, if you understand all the must be. You have to do proactively. Because must be can be spoken, can be unspoken also. Any of you, any any time when you visited a restaurant, have you checked? Have you asked them? Do you have you asked the hotel employees? Hey, do you have the hand wash facility? We never ask, isn't it? We expect a hand wash facility to be available in every restaurant. This is known as unspoken requirement. All right. So we sometimes we call them as you know in literature you can see them needs and expectation. Needs means you know customer will communicate. Expectation means they will not communicate, but still it must be met. Yes or no? The spoken requirements are the needs, but the unspoken requirements are the expectations. Both of them must be met. Both of them must be met, provided. It falls under what? It falls under the must-be feature. Now the customer started exploring your restaurant. Now what will be your uh, thinking now? You would like to assess the quality of the product or quality of the service or the quality of the food they are offering. Yes or no? Everything from the outside was good. Now you are inside. And now what will you do? You will start assessing the quality of the product. How will you assess the quality of the product? You compare this particular uh, food with the nearby competitors. Yes or no? So there are certain features customer now will compare your product with your competitors. Suppose if you are really doing well, you know what will happen? You do well. The food taste is you know, really fantastic. Next time when you come the same come come you know, on the same side, you will again go to the restaurant. Yes or no? So there are another set of features which customer will compare your product or your service with your competitors. Those features are known as performance features. Because customers are comparing your performance with your competitors. Can you see that? And if you do above your competitors, yes, customer will decide to buy from you. The buying decision is arrived using another set of features, which are known as what? Performance features. All of you are with me. Earlier I spoke about must be features. Now I'm speaking about performance features. What is the purpose of must be feature? What is the purpose of must be feature? 
ஒர்க்கிட்டி <laughs> 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 Why you selected five? All the five meets your basic requirements. Now you are neutral with these five. Yes or no? There are uh, how many schools I said in your area? Ten, right? Okay. Hundred. If there are how many? Hundred. Okay, hundred schools. And now five schools you decided to stay neutral with them. So what about the, the remaining ninety five? You have rejected, yes or no? Yes. So why you rejected the remaining ninety five? Some of them must It be or happen. not met by those ninety five, yes or no? Maybe they are far away. With you know uh, having uh, the school in the closer proximity is one of your basic requirement, and the remaining ninety five, you know, only with respect to that particular thing, they are not meeting. So you rejected. so must be features will you know will neutralize your customer if you have a problem with any of the must be that will lead to immediate frustration and then customer will reject your product it is must be acts you know in the process of rejection not in the process of selection it is like you know 100 people uh, applying for a job you as a hr manager you you select only 10 out of them now tell me are you tell are you selecting 10 in 10 uh, employees or uh, i mean uh, 10 biodata or are you rejecting 90 biodata what are you exactly doing you selected only 10 out of the 100 applicants you actually rejected 90 yes or no yes. but this 10 you will consider for the next level and now this 10 profiles you will try to find out which is the best out of the 10 now comparison is happening can you see that now comparison is happening so the features with which you know we compare one product against another product or you know against the competitors those features are known as performance feature clear all of you here the goal is to stand above the competitors here the goal is your your product feature must be little above the competitors little above the competitors okay if you are little above the competitors the buying decisions will happen in the favor of your product you will see your product you know penetrating in the market many you you will be able to acquire customers new customers yes or no because people compare your product and the competitors product and understand that yours is better so they will start buying from you this is the this is the this is how the performance features will behave this must be features performance features understood now the third feature third features are like you know um, unexpected like uh, you are going to the restaurant and the restaurant is telling that sir this today we are celebrating our uh, anniversary so the starters and soup are free they will be served you know on your table you know you can just order for free now this is also a feature comes with the particular product yes or no and now this is this is something unexpected even if they have not offered it you would have still you know proceeded with the hotel but since they have you know they said you know the starters are free and soup is free then you know you get delighted such features are known as delight features or attractive feature the absence of delight features never pull down the customer satisfaction yes or no but the presence will always have a positive impact like like for a group of 10 you don't have to pay for the 10th person kids below the age of 
you need not pay for the you know uh, lunch or dinner you might have noticed all of this yes or no and when when everything goes well must be is going well performance is going well and delights are also there now what the delight will do will you talk about the restaurant to your friends when you go back and immediately you will share hey this restaurant uh, food taste is good yeah at the same time they are not charging uh, for the starters some marketing you without get... any payment <laughs> come again nothing they marketing uh, restaurant marketing without any payment yeah yeah they are yeah see that is needed so this is word a... of mouth yeah so this good is... products and good services really deserve that like how you people are helping us so pulsar is also a good example of this marketing uh, when when get the market so pulsar bazaar bike sir oh pulsar bike okay yes, so definitely but, but no you you we need to do that you know systematically you need to consider all the features all the features and tell me kick start uh, kick starter i mean uh, sorry button starting facility nowadays every scooter comes with the button starter facility yes or no now tell me what kind of feature it is is it a delight earlier no people used to kick to start the motorbike right but now you don't have to kick just press one button and now your uh, no motorbike is ready you can drive isn't it now what kind of feature it is in the current time it must be it must, must be, be. most good yes. realize isn't it None, that means we are not ready to buy a scooter or a motorbike without this you know button starting facility if you, today in, in in current market if you launch a vehicle launch a motorbike without the you know button starting facility and for sure your product will fail yes or no but the same yes. button starter facility some 15 years before was a delight so time is the factor that decides whether a particular feature is must be or the particular feature is performance or the particular feature is delight and now if you have a limited budget to develop a product tell me how will you utilize your budget now you have to construct a beautiful house for your family now you have you have got only you know 50 lakhs now tell me for where will you uh, first utilize your fund and where where are you ready to compromise and where are you not ready to compromise tell me must be is the first feature must be or compromise the yes no compromise all the safety related features isn't it and uh, the uh, foundation you no know, they are like the foundation of the building your foundation and other safety aspects of the building no compromise whatever budget required yes you will spend it and then performance is the next feature to next is performance what how is your house been... and how is your neighbor's house yes you will you will try to you know be little above very good and then performance and finally the if you still have money feature. you can create a garden roof garden terrace garden and then you can create a private terrace and you can have a swimming pool if somebody changes this order straight away you know put all the budget in a swimming pool finally you know he may not have the budget to uh, meet the basic requirement so the same logic is applicable with respect to our products and services for which you know customers are coming to us yes or no yes it's very very important each one of you to precisely write down every ctq you must have the patience to write down the job of uh, you know product developer is not that easy most of you will be working you know at the process level very rarely you work at the design level yes or no if you are part of the product development team and then you are responsible for you know uh, bringing all the features in your product to design you know should actually talk the features and then you think about you know process development and then you know people actually produce the product and you know bring the service all right so hope all of you got the purpose of cano model now i will take you through my slides so it will become much easier now everything is clear so far yes yes sir yeah the yes, order sir. of execution is yes. understood okay so what is cano model and what are must be what are performance and what are delight features and few examples we will see 
it is a product development tool you can also say customer satisfaction tool you can very precisely uh, pinpointedly say how a particular feature in your product is impacting the customer satisfaction is it impacting positively or is it impacting negatively or is it not making any impact what is the you no know, uh, what purpose it serves some features neutralize the customer some uh, features creates or makes a positive impact some features some features can create both impact that means at times it is positive and at times it is negative if you do well it gives a positive impact if you do badly it gives a negative impact all right and now uh, okay uh, it visually cano model visually models the customer provided characteristics with the level of satisfaction each characteristics deliver and you can use this cano model after gathering voice of the customer as i said you know it's a product development tool let's say you want to uh, launch a new kind of water bottle in the market now so many water bottles are available you can first of all benchmark and then try to understand what are the additional requirements customers you know expect from a water bottle nowadays you need to do a survey yes or no otherwise you know your product will be you know just a repetition of what is available in the market i don't know whether you know you will you will gain a good uh, market share but if your product comes with some new new features then uh, everybody will start preferring right so you you must do some survey so you should also be good at developing a survey questionnaire you should also be good at developing a survey questionnaire and uh, trust me you will be able to develop a beautiful questionnaire if you master this particular tool you get to know what to ask and what not to ask you get to know what kind of questions i should include in my questionnaire and what kind of answers i should include options option <laughs> a b c d isn't it highly satisfied highly dissatisfied have you noticed many times when you give a survey i stay neutral these kind of options you see all of them are you no know, picked up from this particular tool only so the design of the questionnaire you know is actually you know uh, depending on the cano concept because uh, what is the purpose of the survey we want to understand what are the requirements for the you know for, for the customer and uh, out of so many requirement which are uh, the basic ones which are the ones customer will compare me against my competitor which are the one which will you know delight me customer which are the ones which customer really do not care certain things you know we do not care you want to buy a printer for your you know office have you ever worried about the color of the inner casing of the printer outer color may be some aesthetic requirements you have but have you ever worried about the inner color no this is something you know immaterial isn't it customer do not care these features are known as indifferent features it has no role to play from the customer's perspective but you may have you know internally the business or the process can have certain requirement so and uh, that is known as indifferent so in order to categorize first you must gather the voc convert all of them into ctq and then classify each of the ctq under one of the category must be performance delight if you are good with the three then i can introduce one more what is the one more i said indifferent customer is least bothered just do not care about certain feature all right yes, sir and then and then one more feature the fifth one reverse feature you know what is reverse the more it is the more frustration customer will be going through sometimes certain features if it is you know offered that will always produce a negative impact those features are known as reverse feature say for example uh, a website requiring too many clicks to find an information what kind of feature it is too many clicks right because the website is you know is very complex structure is very complex reverse feature reverse ah reverse, reverse features feature. you purchase a mobile phone and then uh, you open it and you wanted to make a call there are so many applications you know you cannot even make out which application you can use for 
making the calls in in vehicle so, so much yes in vehicle rare uh, wiper is not working also one example for reverse uh, feature sir yeah not working yes not working always you know there will be a dissatisfaction yes you are right if 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 they supply you no know, uh, vehicle without with non working uh, wipers then obviously you no know, it will uh, lead to frustration uh, but the, my point here is certain lengthy features process, always sir. they frustrate a lengthy so process to... a lengthy process which kind of make a customer unhappy is Correct. a kind of reverse feature exactly so i would like You're to going give one to example here of the sk has mentioned Sometimes organizations provide a feature thinking that the customers will be happy with that, but the customers are actually not. For example, whenever you go to a mall, and then some sales executives is after your life, sir, this is on sale. There are no new introductions and what size do you like and all and all. So, the organization has provided their sales executive to assist you spending some cost on that sales executive. but typically what is happening those sales executives are actually irritating the customer the more they interact with the customer in a mall the more irritated a customer gets that is the kind of uh, one example very relevant example to the feature that gsk just mentioned yes like you know too many sales executives even blocking your way to proceed with your purchase right so now, that's a kind of a reverse yeah. so we need to know the appropriate range within which you must operate your factors so that you know your reverse feature might now perform like a delight or a performance our job is to know to ensure that the you know uh, the features always drive the satisfaction never dissatisfaction that is the goal right Okay, so five features we now understood, Excuse me, and sir. we need to yes. Yes, sir. As uh, Vivek sir gave an example of reverse feature, so I just want to understand. Uh, nowadays we uh, got many unnecessary call like the loan call from bank. So this is also reverse feature, right, sir? Sometimes customer got irritation. Why are you calling me? Yes, you see, if if always certain feature always gives frustration, then it should be classified as. reverse okay. always Excuse right me, okay me, customer care ah, yes. also sir bank customer yes. care bank customer care mm. the more you waiting uh, the more waiting time it is customer you know get dissatisfied the, your oh, call is very important yeah. every yeah. every time you make a call to the customer support they will hold you at least for you know 15 20 minutes and saying that repeatedly saying that your call is very very important to them but then they never come online so it only causes frustration isn't it so the goal is you know to make sure you 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 bring down the waiting time and then now if the waiting time is within the expected range now the same factor will start you know the same feature will start the driving satisfaction among your customers so the cano model allows the development team to focus on optimizing the essential features why we should optimize on the features in a particular order because no matter you know how big or how small your company is the resources are limited all of you agree with me you can't say you are such a super duper company so you can you know utilize the resources in whatever order you want no every company whether it is small or big the resource must be utilized efficiently agree with me and so yes sir this tool is you know helping a lot and the person behind this cano model professor noriaki cano a japanese professor he developed this in 1980s right and uh, this is very very popular and uh, this plays a very very uh, crucial role you know while developing a product particularly if you are part of a product development team yes you must definitely spend a lot of time in understanding the cano analysis completely and we can help you if you really need you know any further uh, support with respect to this so there are five features you can see here must be excuse performance. me performance i have yes, on, the, on the previous slide sir if you can oh sure oh sure 
and yes sir is a fourth bullet point wherein we are talking like uh, we need to like focus on the optimizing our essential features so i really um, i mean back to defer over here so essential feature are we uh, i mean uh, putting this uh, reverse feature also in all together right these five features are uh, collectively is essential features right the essential features are must be right so you must first focus on all the must be correct without any compromise then you must consider working on performance, performance. Right. then you go and to delight right. an indifferent one and and then indifferent you no know, it customer do not uh, care about certain they things can't bother, but we need to take care but uh, but you need to check because you got certain requirement so keeping the you know printer color casing black maybe you no know, advantages i don't know or okay. you want to keep it white it is advantages so certain things you know customer do not care but it becomes a process requirement mm -hmm. but reverse like uh, can we try to avoid sir rather than putting this in optimizing feature come again come again a reverse feature is that I, i believe this is a negative feature so why yeah re reverse features are always you know negative features you must try to eliminate right right uh, say for example uh, we using you know Uh, unnecessary jargons while delivering the session i very well know you people are not familiar with certain terminologies but uh, i always you know once in every minute i use unnecessary uh, new terminologies which are not familiar with the participant mm -hmm. it only serve the purpose of you know you know frustrating the customer yes or no yeah. so why are you using it it doesn't serve the purpose so those features are reverse see normally in any garment you learn like shirt or whatever no uh, there are some buttons provided yes or no buttons are absolutely required yeah now tell me how many buttons are required in a shirt in a shirt tell me all of you 5 to 7 4 to 5 to 7 yeah 5 yeah, to 7 okay i'll go with the madam right 5 to 7 buttons that does the no uh, must be features because you can't imagine shirt with a button without a button right people are not ready to know we are in that fashion right they need uh, the uh, button feature but what if if i give buttons you know more than eight buttons let's say there are 48 buttons in my shirt that's that's not required that's right. now it is now since it is kept outside the preferred range the availability of the button is now acting as reverse can you see that so it takes you know 30 40 Yeah, as you take the example of shirts, so we do get some additional buttons with the shirts. Okay, that's 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 somewhere inside, but that's one or two. That that's a max thing. But Correct. Not some like sometimes, you know, yeah. they give some extra buttons to you know to handle uh, the right. challenging situations. You one button is broken, you can replace. And that is you know that is a kind delight. of uh, delight. Should I say? everything you know there is a logic behind and every logic every feature can position your product in a better you know manner in the market yes or no true this is how you people you know can uh, penetrate the market you can make your product succeed in the market the more the features the more the features you know that that can uh, give satisfaction to the customer yes more customers you know will come to your uh, product and services yep. great so go in that order first must be mm -hmm. then go to performance then go to delight right. and changing the order may you know sometimes may be very very dangerous mm -hmm. we'll talk about it okay so must be performance attractive indifferent and rewards other names for the must be features dissatisfy because i earlier told you all the must be feature helps in neutralizing the customer yes or no it helps in neutralizing no satisfaction if i say i am selling a car with a very good steering wheel how many of you will like my advertisement i release an advertisement you know where i talk about the steering wheel in a car see our brand new model which comes with a steering steering wheel steering wheel is a must be sr no the car means it should have a steering wheel but uh, if i talk about it no then you know uh, it, it's not making sense so but but can you imagine a car without a steering wheel 
customer immediately get frustrated, isn't it? So it is better to call must be features as dissatisfiers, not as a satisfier. When I say the feature is available, customer stays neutral. Okay, chalo. You, your, uh, every car has got a uh, steering wheel and yours also has got. I stay neutral with the car, yes or no? So I hope all of you now understand why we prefer to call must be as dissatisfied. If there is a hand wash facility available in a restaurant, it's a must be. But if it is not available, it's a frustration. So it is a dissatisfier. Certain features, its absence will immediately lead to frustration. They must be called as dissatisfier. All right. And you can also call must be as threshold features. And now look at the graph given by our uh, Cano. This is the must be feature. All of you, can you see this blue color graph? Can you see this blue color graph always below x axis? Right? And if you look at because y axis represents the level of satisfaction. If the satisfaction is very high, you are going to the top of the y axis. If something leads to frustration, you are coming to the bottom of the y-axis. Hope all of you understand what y-axis talks about. If y-axis talks about the level of satisfaction, look at the must be at the maximum, it comes closer to the zero point. Am I right? Because its purpose is only to neutralize the customer. That's all. Purpose is only to neutralize the customer. That's all. Okay. And now performance. Performance features... I'm sorry, here we have to say linear satisfier. What should we have here? Linear. Why linear means if you do well, satisfaction will go up. If you don't do well with respect to a competitor, satisfaction will come down. And now you see the performance feature in the green color. Can you see that? It is going above the zero point. It is also going below the zero point. Can you see that? Above the zero point means satisfaction goes up. Below the zero point means it leads to frustration. So they must be called as linear satisfier. Clear all of you? They're also sometimes referred as one dimensional features in the literature. It actually means performance feature. Now, finally, now the third one, attractive features. The other name for attractive feature is delighters. Excitement. Now we like, can say uh, wow features also. Wow features. Yes, exactly. Wow features. Right, and you are uh, you are buying a product, and they are telling that you know the shipping and installation is free. You don't have to you know worry about the shipping cost and the installation that the company will take care. It's a kind of delight, right? Or you are buying a laptop, and now they are giving you a laptop carry case absolutely free. Yes, that is a kind of delight. delight. Suppose if we give you an additional uh, certificate of appreciation in addition to your green belt and black, black belt, will that act as a delight feature? You're not expected, yes. right? But, but it is now suddenly no, uh, included in the package. And now this definitely creates a delight, right? That means that that's the reason why this curve always stays above the x-axis. All of you understand? Why it never goes below? Even if you don't uh, know, uh, offer certain feature, nobody is going to question you. But if you, if you offer it, you know, it will lead to delight. And delighting the customer can spread the news, isn't it, mm -hmm. among your target audience. Yes or no? They will definitely share with their friends, colleagues, and word of mouth, you get free advertisement if you put delight your customers and delighters and excitement features are wow features very correctly said now the fourth one indifferent indifferent means no positive impact no negative impact customer always stays neutral just do not care can you see a gray color line just you know lying exactly over x-axis a gray line that is what is that Indifferent. indifferent. It presence or absence doesn't influence customer. Right? 
and the reverse feature the more you perform the no more frustrated the customer is see here this red color line it is coming down it is coming down isn't it so x axis talks about your the functionality if the if you if, if you offer more what happens to the satisfaction look at this green red color line if i offer more i keep more and more buttons beyond eight the more the number of buttons more frustrated the customer is yes or no the more the number of clicks required uh, while finding an information from the website more first no the more will be the uh, dissatisfaction so these are reverse features okay so now you have to tell me whether the hand wash feature in a restaurant is it a satisfier or dissatisfier dissatisfier yeah dissatisfier so if you start a restaurant will you include this feature in your restaurant for sure yes definitely yeah. even if you do not have a budget what will you do now you will still apply a loan and then you ensure you provide this feature otherwise you know customer you no know, nobody will consider your restaurant this is true not just for one must be feature this is true for all the must be feature agreed yes. it's like the foundation of the building without foundation building cannot come the first thing to invest is the foundation all right so try to understand the must be features in your product call making facility in a smartphone samsung did a survey and they understood that call making and call receiving feature is a must be feature yes or no yes whether you do a survey or don't do a survey you must know that yes very good presence of a kitchen in an apartment what kind of feature it is you should carefully listen to the words right i am saying presence of a kitchen you want to buy an apartment if there is no kitchen can you call it an apartment living apartment no no sir. there has to be a kitchen right so presence of a kitchen is a must be feature all right so ability to print in a4 size you are buying a printer what do you think must be must a printer be. having an must be must be must be because if 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 the person says no you can't print in a4 size it can only no print bigger size or the smaller size but not a4 i think no you will not buy it acts as a dissatisfaction right and presence of a seat belt in a passenger car must because it's a safety be feature yes be. ability to make phone calls so these are all i hope all of you now know what is a must be feature they definitely act as dissatisfaction like all the attributes related to the safety are always must be features yes or no another example self starter in an automotive nowadays yes even in the car we all want you no know, the same and in the two wheeler we want the self starter button do you expect all the parts to be brand new when you are buying any product do you communicate yes. this while buying any product you don't communicate but you expect yes or no you buy a laptop and you expect the processor ram hot disk everything to be brand new yes we don't actually speak out but if we find a prop flaw there we will immediately know file a case yes or no so the unspoken right that's why i told you both spo spoken and then unspoken so now you will be able to better understand why the curve is always below x axis am i right are you good with must be yes now all of you please take 30 seconds type one must be feature in the product or the service you are currently dealing please type one feature in the chat box which should which is a must be feature in the product or a service you are currently dealing let me see whether all of you have you know correctly captured this point just think about your product your service just one not many i know there will be many features you will be concern, you will be taking care okay well pandian says using zoom is a must be very good now participants are concerned about it on time service okay all of you please participate 
So bank should give message whenever no amount is credited or debited. A message has to go to the customer. Very good. Quick AC cooling. Please note hereafter when you say when you communicate any requirement, you should also be communicate the target. You should also be able to communicate the upper limit. You should also be able to communicate the lower limit. If you say AC must you know give quick cooling, what is the target? Isn't it? What is the limit? Within how many how it many is, seconds do you expect the cooling? Correct. So just ask yourself and then you know develop your statement accordingly. That's very, very important. Vehicle should start in just you know one press of a button, one kick of the thing. Very good. So hope all of you understood the must be features and you are also able to link it to your product and service. That's very, very important. Particularly if you are an entrepreneur, definitely know this goes a long way no, in uh, making your product succeed in the market. Yes or no? You can't uh, have a flaw in must be feature. So we continue. Now the graph is understood. Clear all of you? You can speak for you know, hours together by looking at the graph. Yeah, any question? Anybody? Akshaya, you are raising your hand. You want to ask something? Okay. See here. What is written here? Fully satisfying at this level gets a supplier into the market. That means you, you, you know, get the uh, basic qualification to launch your product. If you if you do not fulfill the must be fully, you launch a product, what will happen? You have a flaw. You still launch your product. What will happen? Same side goal, yes or no? You yourself you know damage your name. Yes, madam, you have a question? Hi, sir. Uh, sorry to intervene. Actually, I just wanted to this is the Cano model. So there is no uh, kind of, um, I mean, margins. I mean, no values are there. Simply, it's like kind of cross. No, like, mar values are not there. Uh, see, it is it is right now, you know, yeah, concept it is. Mm -hmm. The more specifically you start talking, then you no, know, you you can you can bring the specification. Let's say you are talking about uh, an IC engine, right? A car engine. Now kilowatts. What is the power uh, it can develop? Is, is it developing fifty kilowatts, or is it developing ten kilowatts, or is it developing thirty kilowatts? And now the number comes. Yes or no? Yes. And then what your uh, customers are uh, sorry, your competitors are doing. Mm -hmm the same price band what your competitors are doing so you can actually you know uh, use it with the numbers also but right now we talk in terms of you know whether the functionality is fulfilled or not fulfilled little subjective you need to understand right so if if the particular uh, requirement is uh, fulfilled fully then you are on the right side if it is if it is not fulfilled if the functionality is poor then you are on the left side Right. So we, with respect to every feature, we are just checking, are we, you know, uh, perf delivering the feature as per the requirement? Is that the functionality is okay or not okay? Okay means we are on the right side. If feature is under trouble, it. then we are on the left side. No, that's correct, sir. But I'm just, uh, you know, trying to uh, putting it holistically that, for example, we are collecting these uh, surveys from the people and the voice of the customers. So that should be come in the kind of like pamphlets in the. In yeah, the yeah, you uh, can convert. See, you can convert. So when it when it comes to a specific application, yes, you will be able to precisely find out a numerical target. Correct. Yeah. And then you know, and then you will be able to understand whether you are on the right side or you are on the left side. Mm -hmm. And again, on the right side, whether you are you are, you are able to reach the extreme, or you uh, are still, you know, we can differentiate have... the features, I believe, because uh, in the that system, the it's very difficult to uh, find out that which that feature will be... is all in the yeah. 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 It's a very good question, and that will be addressed with the next tool, QFD, where we convert everything into numericals. Okay, fine. Sir. Right, but right now we are only, you know, trying to uh, understand which category. All right. So now, suppose you, you are uh, admitting your uh, children in a college. 
can you will you be able to figure out all the must be features it changes yes. from parent to parent isn't it it changes from parent to parent that's why you know when you talk about customer requirement first of all you must have a complete clarity on your customer who is the customer what is the customer segment you are trying to attack you are trying to target that understanding is very important because my requirement as a parent can be different and your requirement as a parent can be completely different yes or no that means we don't belong to the same segment so customer segmentation understanding the customer segmentation is very 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 important no to list down the ctqs all right so there are some examples here based on certain assumption the basic infrastructure is a must be the approvals are a must be safety concerns are must be yes or no and availability of the basic classrooms basic laboratories are must be availability of the teachers must be all of them are must be you can easily understand similarly in the printer decent print quality ability to print in a4 size and uh, while using it for uh, uh, copying you should be able to you know adjust it yeah i mean uh, the uh, sizing 80% 90% these are all uh, must be but please note if you are differing from anything i have mentioned in the slide what does it mean you don't belong to the customer segment which i assume yes or no it doesn't mean that you are wrong or i am wrong we both are correct if you fall in the customer segment which i kept while you know bringing out all these example then you know there will be a matching otherwise there can be a mismatch this is possible all right so survey uh, carried out by uh, samsung and look but at the must be features they have identified excuse me sir so can we say like must be uh, like features are standard i mean because uh, i believe that must be features is something that is a requirement for each and every one maybe some people are not aware of that thing. that's one thing but it's like must be something we, we couldn't i mean launch any any product or any process without those features it's like must be is like foundation is like basic foundation yeah, exactly you are right you are right and that's why you know certain uh, things are standardized and then some uh, procedures are created isn't it some guidelines are created and uh, that means you no know, they are all must be you can't expect customer to speak out everything the must be requirement the mandatory requirement just uh, bare minimum we can say no yes yes you are right bare minimum yes at any mandatory cost exactly yeah, mandatory requirement here. unspoken requirement whether it is spoken or unspoken if it falls under the you know must be category yes is must is must be fulfilled you are answerable for it you can't blame a customer isn't it yes okay so since uh, you know there are uh, some questions getting raised you know now i at this stage i would like to play a video because just because customers customer you no know, do not speak out properly uh, you cannot have a tendency to you know blame the customer can you blame a customer if your product you know is not satisfying can you say that you no know, can you blame the customer sir it is because you have not communicated and this requirement is not fulfilled is it a correct approach or wrong approach your product has failed please note uh, let me give a scenario your product has failed to meet the requirement but uh, it is an unspoken requirement customer did not dictate it now whose mistake it is ours it's our mistake our mistake very good we have you know really uh, good experts here who could understand you know their mistakes great because uh, if you think you know it is a fault of the customer then uh, your your long term success will be a big question mark yes or no any if our if anything you know failure with respect to our product we are responsible okay. you can't uh, uh, end of the day you can't say sir customer you have not communicated no somehow you know you have to ensure you understand the customer that's where survey and all it's a tedious job i would say product development job is not that much easier right will you succeed in long term saying that you no know, customer you no know, it it is fault of the customer maybe you can escape temporarily but definitely in the long term you are responsible yes or no yes great so that's a very good understanding so let's continue Okay. 
so all of these things are you know considered to be must be the bluetooth facility and you know what do you call having a touch screen this samsung is understood and now similarly we can identify certain must be features within our training program like some of you mentioned using zoom is a must be that's great to know and okay now coming to performance features they are no otherwise known as linear satisfiers if you perform well there will be a positive effect if you perform badly then there will be a negative effect mm -hmm. that means you no know, in comparison to the competitor in comparison to the competitor like you are going to a restaurant what do you compare you are going for a buffet lunch will you compare the number of items offered by one restaurant with other restaurant yes the moment you understand you know you are comparing a particular product or a service against the competitor then that is a performance feature if there are two restaurant next to next then definitely the one who is giving the more uh, yeah. varieties will have a more tendency to attract more customers isn't it similarly with respect to the taste the tastier one will obviously attract more customers right so the taste and variety and when you talk about the camera feature in a mobile phone have having the presence of a camera is a must be but once the camera is present we compare the megapixel level of one camera against the other isn't it yes when i talk in terms of the megapixel level now it becomes a performance feature the presence of a kitchen is a must be but the size of the kitchen is a that is performance performance we compare right that means these performance features helps in the buying decision please note customer make the buying decision after referring to the performance feature the mileage of a car the inbuilt memory of a smartphone the processors the processing speed of a computer or a laptop all of these things we normally compare while making the buying decision yes or no imagine yes. you want to buy a laptop with a budget of 1 lakh rupees what do you do you go to some kind of online platform and select initially select you know some options yes or no let's say you have selected you know one from hp and one from dell and one from lenovo and now in order to select these three particular uh, brands you first applied the must be features isn't it all your must be are met and now you have now what do you do at the next step you compare dell hp and then you know the lenovo against each other you create a excel table isn't it and then see which is you know standing better and then once you understand oh dell is doing better then you will proceed with the dell oh hp is doing better you proceed with the hp oh lenovo is doing better because for the particular price band who is doing well and accordingly you make a buying decision and then you made a buying decision now you clicked the checkout button now the checkout button is telling you congratulations you now have a 10000 rupees cash back offer if you complete the purchase within the next you know uh, one hour you have a cash back offer of 10000 rupees now what is this delight 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 so you have not expected that you already made up your mind to purchase because it's standing out the product is standing out but now it is coming with the 10000 rupees cash back and they are also giving some free by freebies laptop carry case and etc or sometimes you know they will allow you to buy the bluetooth speakers at just you know merely uh, 10 rupees or 100 rupees and all of them are delight features all right so, so this after sequence, sales service part of performance feature yes is after sales service is a part of performance feature yes if see in the long term in the long term we must think like you know the sales is already over but future in the future customers you know will stop buying from you all right so always you know we should think in terms of the short term as well as the long so that is also yeah performance feature the moment you know anything customer compares with your competitor sir, is a performance feature so if we are getting uh, first three or first six services are free so it will come in the delight feature and uh, after sales service will come in the performance feature right uh, after sales is performance what is the other one you said 
first three or first six uh, services okay first six services uh, free so you yeah see also we need to always understand the context very well right you know right uh, early in the initial days the free shipping was a delight yes or no but nowadays we started expecting free delivery you know every time when we purchase the delight has now become what must be must be, be. Must this be. will happen this will happen if if every uh, service provider you know uh, makes something free then that will become then the must delight be. can become what must be must be must be so you need to understand the context well and then classify what was delight some five year before okay, you know might be a must be today we need to understand okay so see here the graduation rate we normally compare while choosing a college like all of you might have compared no before enrolling here will we pass that's a very very important thing right so where the passing rate is high and then uh, placement percentage and then the percentage of phd qualified faculty cost of education can you see numbers appearing here all of you can you see numbers appearing here even though in the graph we don't show numbers but when it comes to the actual city queues only if you have numbers you will be able to make a wise comparison all right so the print speed to recycle and uh, some some certain questions you know will be will remain like this whether it's a inkjet printer or a laser jet printer and customer might prefer you no know, the uh, laser and some customer might prefer the other and similarly the resolution so performance features few performance features uh, can you tell can you let us know one or two feature which you compared which you compare while choosing a uh, uh, platform or you know a uh, service provider for your uh, black belt learning q and a teaching what quality. is that q and a q and a q and a means uh, i don't understand what questions. is that feature you looked at answering questions okay answering questions okay teaching faculty okay teaching faculty you compare you know who is the faculty here practical and who is the faculty there and then practical application of you know the concepts certification approval okay. government certification approval okay sir. okay whether the certification is you know government uh, certification or a private very good yes quality of education feedback quality of education feedback okay. all right great to know fee structure so structure very good see anything that you compare fantastic anything that you compare and then you know if your if the decision is in favor of the particular uh, product or a service that means you are doing you know you are you have done you are doing a great job and the, in terms of the competitive uh, competitor analysis yes you are standing out very good of class timings sessions session timings yeah flexible yeah the convenient yes. timings very good so so that's how now see once you start thinking in this direction you can also you know succeed whether you know while working in a company or you uh, offer something on your own yes definitely this helps see here the megapixel level of the camera and then the ram speed and all of the all of these things are listed under performance feature see see whenever you are in doubt what you need to do suppose imagine uh, there is a particular feature you don't know whether it is a must be or a performance or a delight tell me what will you do if the situation is very confusing what what should you do tell me a particular feature you have you know a lot of uh, challenges you are completely confused whether to place it as a delight or place it as a performance or place it as a performance or a must be you have a confusion now how will you handle the situation come on arvi hinki pangi we will compare with others product ask the customer himself include it in the you know your survey question that's all whenever you are in doubt ask customers customer himself you ask directly if you ask 100 customer and what majority is saying that is final yes or no what majority is saying is is nothing but a statistical uh, parameter mode what majority is saying what is that actually it's a statistics out of 100 people 80 people said you know this feature is must be so you made up your mind to consider that feature as a must be now what is this statistics here majority means more isn't it what many of the people have told so everything can be linked to statistics yes 
But see here, there is a sweet spot which you must understand. The linear feature, the theory says, the more you give, more the satisfaction. Yes or no? But if you if you if you add the feature again, know uh, again and again, is the customer is also willing to pay more? If customer don't want to pay more, then you need to consider. Isn't it? You should identify the sweet spot. Because adding a feature no, should not happen at the expense of your profitability. But at the same time, if your competitors are doing well, that time you can't consider your profitability. Yes or no? Right? Now, it becomes you know, a part of your strategic decision. Since competitors are already giving you know, a particular feature within that same price band, you should also you know, be forced to do it. So you should always identify the sweet spot and ensure whether the cost of adding a certain feature you know, should, should definitely be lesser than the extra cash customer is willing to pay. I, I add two feature, one extra feature in my product. Now, customer, however, customer is not willing to pay anything extra. Now, what will you do? Try to, try to ensure the cost associated with adding the feature is minimal and bearable. Isn't it? So, this thing has to be you know, understood. It depends actually, sir, over here because some features, uh, while by the pairing any product or any process, we may target some uh, kind of I would say specific uh, specific clients that could afford those those you know uh, those uh, I would say features. It, it, it's not possible that uh, every feature is like targeted throughout all the customers. It would be possible that some features are targeting this particular belt, which could be like. Uh, coming under different, like I, I will take the example of iPad or I, I, I this one. Okay, so okay, iPad have see. different features when we will come to this one. Yeah, see, always it is uh, good to have a thorough understanding of your customer segment. Right. And what you are talking is, you know, developing a product which can uh, address the needs of multiple segments. It's an altogether different approach, a very, very rare case. Your product, you are trying to come out with a versatile product which can meet the multiple segment of customers. Right. So that, that's a you know, rare scenario. Normally, the customer segment has to be you know, clearly defined. It's, but, but that versatility, uh, you will be able to achieve you know, only as a part of your continual improvement. You can't do that straight away. Like Ola, when they introduced their particular you know, brand, they only offered car, car rental. Isn't it? Then they brought yeah. auto. Then they brought two-wheeler. Now they are bringing vegetables. Now they are bringing milk. Everything, all the parcel. That versatile, versatileness, you, know, you can't bring it straight away in the first run. You have to you know, uh, position your product or a service, first of all, in the market and you know, gain the customer trust and then stabilize your results. Then slowly make your platform more versatile. That's a good idea. So always it is good to start with a well-defined customer segment. Initially, I targeted only office goers who would prefer to go to the office using a four-wheeler. That is my customer segment initially. But now I am able to uh, you know, offer something to everyone in the world. Right. right? So that is possible. But you know, that understanding has to be developed. Okay, attractive features. Its presence will always have a positive effect, but absence do not have any effect. If they are not giving a free starter, you are not going to question them, isn't it? You will still you know, happily pay the bill and then come, back, come out because the food is good. What is this feature? You come as four, but we will charge you only for three. This is a delight feature. Delight feature. Then uh, money back. Delighter. Delight. Delight. No EMI for first delight. one year. Delight. Yeah, it is presented as a delight, but I don't know what has been you know, done so to attract uh, the customers. Normally, you know, they say no EMI, but actually, you no, know, you will be paying for it. But it is presented as so. Suppose uh, there is a flexibility given in a car. You can make it as a four-seater car or seven-seater car or a five-seater car. 
according to your requirement, driving requirement. Now, it, in the current condition, can I consider that as a delight? No. Yeah. Some flexibility, right? It, this flexibility is not available in all the cars. Okay. A smartphone with the wireless charging capability. Again, you know, the budget and segmentation has to be understood. Let's say the budget is less than 20,000. The mobile phone come with wireless charging capability. Is it a delight or? Delight. 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 Two free two-day shipping from an online retailer. See, I have listed it as a uh, delight. Is it a delight? These days must be. Yes. These sir. days must be, right? Probably if somebody is charging you for the shipping, you will immediately try to find the alternate you know, uh, provider. Let's find if Amazon is charging me, then probably I'll go to Flipkart. So that means, you know, customers started expecting this free shipping as a must be now. So time is also, you know, the factor we need to understand. So some delight features with respect to uh, uh, higher education institution. Can you tell me? Let's see how uh, your parenting uh, capabilities. Come on. Without donation. What are the features can be considered as delight? Without donation. Reimbursement. Oh, without donation is a delight. Pre okay. Pre Pre that is why they are asking donation. Mm, that should be a must be. Okay, next. Reimbursement. Pre oh, fees reimbursement. Very good. If your fees will be reimbursed, a part of it or full of it is reimbursed. Very good. That's a delight. What else? Scholarships. 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 Free hostel, free transport. Very good. You people have understood. Earn while learn opportunity. A college is having a kind of ecosystem where you are, you know, the children can also, you know, prepare them uh, to become an entrepreneur. They are able to earn. Can we consider that as a uh, delight? Delight. But now Indian government is trying to develop such ecosystem in all institutions. Isn't it business incubation facilities they are creating? Where, you know, while uh, going through the education, they can also uh, start a company as and register as a startup. Very good. Study abroad opportunities. Delight. Tuition fee waiver. Free hostel. These are all delight. And see here, I have written uh, the Wi-Fi connectivity as a delight. I think I am wrong here. Yes or no? Must Nowadays, be. every printer, you know, we expect to it. have a Wi-Fi connectivity. Free must delivery be. and installation also is not a delight. Nowadays, must be. Otherwise, must we will not buy such printer, isn't it? If they say, no, we will not provide installation and installation cost is 1,000 rupees, no. So, that is the kind of uh, thing. All right. So, any delight feature you recommend here, we will also consider. Normally, delight, you know, customer, they will not be able to, uh, they, they don't actually represent, isn't it? That, that That's why it is known as delight. So, it is actually our job to find ways to delight all of you. So, Tuesday, without clearing sessions. Okay. You okay. feel it as a delight. Very good. Don't worry. There will be a lot of delights. We are going to stay together and only, you know, the program is getting over, not the relationship and not the learning and learning will be forever. All right. So, delight features... So again, sweet spot and the order of execution. And now must be, what is the sweet spot? No compromise. No compromise. Must be no compromise. Everything, you know, should be offered. And performance, just stand out in the competition. Stand out in the competition. If you're already standing out, then the equation comes. I give this feature, how much customer can give? In order to add a feature, I'm spending 100 rupees. Customer should at least pay that extra 100 rupees, yes or no? Otherwise, you are already standing out. You, you don't have to know include that feature because anyway, you are already above the competition. Customer have no choice. They are going to you know buy your product. So that's the sweet, sweet spot. But delight. What is your logic behind delight? Can somebody tell me? What should be the logic? Suppose if you want, you are an entrepreneur. Imagine you are selling something. Right? Now, so improve customers. What, what, to improve customer satisfaction as well as revenue. To improve customer satisfaction, you are delighting them, right? Let's say you are running a coffee shop. And to, to delight them, let's say you are giving, you know, some uh, free bonda. That will you buy the coffee customer. and then biscuits are free. You buy a coffee from my uh, coffee shop, 
then you know biscuits are free now what will happen initially people you know you will see uh, uh, people are started you know, preferring your uh, tea shop yes or no because you are giving them you know the snack also but you should do that only if your tea or coffee is you know having the appropriate taste and quality yes or no mm -hmm. if there is a problem with the must be there is a problem with the performance let's say cleanliness is not there but you are giving biscuits extra free what will happen in the long run you are damaging your own brand isn't it if focusing on delight by compromising the must be and performance means you are damaging your own brand can you see that so logic behind delighting your customer now see to that you first perform well with respect to the must be with respect to the must performance then comes the delight if you change this order in the long run it will actually you know have a negative effect negative impact in fact you know what will happen your market share will go down in the long run because you you yourself make more people know that you don't have cleanliness yes or no so it is like you know wearing a tie to wear a tie you must have a proper shirt yes or no if you do not have a proper shirt or you are not wearing the shirt but still you want to wear a tie how it will look like it might look good for you but then you know for others definitely no it won't look good so it's very very important and the order of execution is first must be then performance and then delight yeah. the foundation then the building then only the garden and the swimming pool hope all of you maintain okay. this no sir i okay. i just want to add uh, one thing uh, over here so uh, delight feature can we say like uh, we can assess our customers uh, so that you know we can stay uh, longer in the like market or we are we can perform well uh, when we are uh, comparing ourselves with our competitors because in that way at least uh, we stay a step ahead from our competitors and we can assess also in case uh, i mean they are not happy or they want something else we can i um, mean listen to them and we can do that way no if you are doing something to understand how are you performing with respect to your competitors please understand you are dealing with the performance feature now because you yourself telling that no you are comparing with your competitors once you are very sure you are above the competition but still you are bringing some new feature right. i am already That's above right. the competition but still i am bringing a new feature that means you know now this feature will have the you know will act as a delighter Daljit Singh sir, you want to ask something? No sir, I think what I understood uh, in any product or service, Cano model gives you a framework where you have to plot your service and product under these criteria, and exactly. must be is the primary focus and the performance. You have to track performance of the must be, and then if you are meeting these two criteria, then you have to think of other criteria anything which is impacting you must be is in different and reverse feature so the ultimately the focus comes to must be and the performance exactly very good excellent very well summarized fantastic yes and anyway we will also try to understand the meaning of indifferent feature indifferent means customer do not care like you want to buy a car and whether the engine is uh, located in the front or rear side are you concerned about maybe you if you expect the engine on the front side that means you know it is you know it is a customer you know ha have a priority but the uh, once you know that the engine is in the front side have you ever worried about whether the engine is on the right side of the driver or left side of the driver it's not a concern yes or no so positioning the engine in the front bonnet is actually no an indifferent feature according to the customer yes or no but for the business there can be a technical requirement keeping it on the right might have a plus and minus keeping it on the left might have a plus and minus yes or no for some people you know some people don't bother whether the engine is on the right side or left side but for some people they might they might not even bother whether engine is there or there or not as long as the car can move i am okay isn't it 
So that uh, kind of customers are also there. Similarly, the fuel filling point. Uh, do you decide the buying of the car based on the fuel filling point? If it is on the right side or left side, do you have any preference? No, no preference. In India, we can you know uh, fill up the fuel you know with both uh, formats. So that is actually an indifferent feature. All right. So the type of plastic. A yeah, bottle juice comes in. Maybe from the customer's perspective, yes, uh, we really don't bother, you know, too much. When we buy a juice bottle, do we think about what the kind of uh, plastic and everything? No, we just use it and throw. But the environmental concern and all of these things are there, which company must take care and which is a long-term requirement. Yes or no? Yeah. Gas tank located on the left or right, the color of the printer, inner casing, and all of these things are in different features. Reverse features, we already spoke. And website requiring too many clicks beyond the optimal. Anything beyond the optimal, you know, will be reverse. Like our Daljit, you know, you could properly, you know, fantastically summarize. Anything that can impact your basic and performance, yes, that may act as delight and reverse. So, see here, look at the restaurant, how the tables are arranged here. We need a table, but it is beyond the optimal range. Can you see that? No privacy, nothing. It looks like, you know, a uh, wedding hall arrangement. So this is actually, you know, acting as the reverse feature. All right. So once you have determined for certain uh, category, each feature belongs in, you are now ready to begin developing and optimizing these features. Remember, you your focus should be on all your must-be features you see here. In the process of product development, if you somehow fail to identify one feature, that could be the reason for the you know, complete failure of your product. After optimizing all your must-be feature, your next priority will be on optimizing the performance. Features that your respondents report as being most important. Then be extra certain that the attractive feature you focus are those which your users will find valuable. If you are you know, uh, thinking that you, know, you are delighting the customer, your customer should also feel the delight. Suppose you conduct evening classes and then there are no participation. That means you are unnecessarily wasting your efforts, isn't it? So something like that. So order of execution, you all know, I don't have to explain. This is the order we normally go, right? Must be performance and then delight. Or you can also compare this, your pant, shirt, tie, and then, you know, the coat, you know, in which order, you know, they must be, okay. So your focus should always be on the value and uh, make sure you focus on all your must-be requirements. And then you will, by, by having this framework, you will be able to remain laser focused on optimizing the specific features, you know, which your customers values. Okay, so I'm open to any questions on this particular topic. Hope uh, this input, you know, is helpful. No, knowing this particular tool, Cano model is really helpful, particularly related to product development. Any questions? All good? So next time, you know, again, we will uh, discuss about one more tool, the QFD, quality function deployment, where you will see the numbers at all, right? So... If there are any questions you can ask, otherwise we can have a break here, 15 minutes break, and then we can continue. Thank you, sir.